Happy anniversary, everyone. I've been saying myself, happy anniversary to me, but happy anniversary to you, our classic community. Well, I'm in this studio. It's real comfortable. I mean, Saturday morning, I'm having coffee. Got two cups of coffee, which is not good, right? Um, we're going to be taking a look. Of course, we haven't stopped working on our anniversary day. We're taking a look at Sunday's races over at Saratoga. But as always, please, again, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things you do to support your local Speed King. And, of course, please continue to support us through your donations. Under there in the description, there are several ways. One, our tip sheets that are $20 per track. Two, buy the Speed King of Coffee. Click on the link. That's actually a great website uh, for sure. And, of course, our T-shirts, okay? We can use your donation. We really want everybody to join the membership. At the membership button that says join, it's right next to the subscribe button. It is a small monthly fee, but again, we pour the money back into the community. So that's going to be one of my focuses this year is to um, uh, drive our membership a little bit uh, better than I have in the past. I'm horrible at that stuff. But anyway, let's dive right into the ballerina stakes on Sunday over there in beautiful Saratoga for sure. Well... The Ballerina Stakes is race number nine on the card on Sunday. It is a grade one. That's right, it's for three-year-olds and up. Phillies and mares going seven panels for 500,000, a field of seven. I would like to run through all of these, okay, but uh, maybe I will, okay? We will. Let's do it. The number one horse, CC. Well, CC's not a bad horse, obviously. This six-year-old mare has 10 wins from 20 starts. That's 50% with two seconds and four thirds. You can't even begin to, to, to shake a stick at that. $2.2 million trained by Mike McCarthy. The classy, classy Mike McCarthy. This is a hard hitter, okay, for sure. Um, she's two to one. She's actually the morning line in here, and I don't quite buy that. I think she should be four to one, uh, according to my database. But she is a win uh, probability here. Probably be my fourth pick in here, if anything. The number two, well, I tell you right now, obligatory. But listen to this. There are seven horses in the race. Billy Mott, out of all people, Billy Mott, has three horses. He's trying to circle the wagons. He's been reading from Chad's playbook up in the trainer's booth. Right? Billy Mott has three horses in the ballerina? Wow. I mean, I've never seen that. Okay? I've been following Billy Mott for 30 years. I've never seen him enter three horses. But anyway, obligatory is 72 on the morning line. And obviously, to me, is a huge, huge win probability here. I mean, I like this horse so much better than I do the number one horse, CC. Five wins from 12 starts, three seconds by curling on the back end by Macho Uno, right? And of course, Jose Ortiz is in the yards. The horse ran second last time to uh, Bella Sophia in the Bed of Roses stakes over there. Was 9-5 to five that day. Bella Sophia is in this race, the number uh, uh, 5 horse. So again, to me, Obligatory is one of the top two contenders in here and probably will be my second pick for sure. The number 3 horse, Carmel Swirl. Well, I think she's a little overmatched, Carmel Swirl. I think something happened to this horse. 8-1 to one on the morning line, the number 3 horse. 4 wins from 10 starts, 3 seconds and 2 thirds. But the horse been having big breaks since last year, October 23rd, in the Raven uh, run stakes. The horse came back after 209 days in an allowance. Won the race, but then went away for another 100 days. Maybe they're just taking their time with them. It is Billy Mott. Okay, so again, I'm not going to knock them. But I don't like, this is the horse of the three Mott horses that I like the least. The number three, Carmel Swirl. I'm going to throw her off the ticket. And ha can somebody help me here? The number four horse, the old Lady Rocket. The Lady Rocket is six to one. I have this horse at two to one. Five to two at best in my database relative to this race and the win probability, which is 26%. And Lady Rocket is six to one. I mean, to me, this is the top horse and it's going to be my top pick in here. Lady Rocket has seven wins from 14 starts. 
No, he did not. I just told you the horse is 50%. Three seconds and two thirds for 700,000. The horse is by an old mama's park horse, the sire tell of the cats. Trained by John Forbes and Julie Crone in the arms. Those were the days. And guess what kind of horse? It's a merry horse. It's Brad Cox and all his big head horses, right? Again, Lady Rocket, six to one. I'll take it. To me, the horse won the Grade Three Chicago over there at Churchill on the 25th of June and did it beautifully. That's some 64 days ago. You know I like four to six weeks between races for big, big horses like this. Ran third in the ruffian behind search results, who we'll get to see today in the personal instant stakes, right? And again, to me, Lady Rocket is six to one and got to be the play. And the value play. By the way, she's the speed. So again, this five-year-old mare is going to get top billing with us. The number five horse, Bella Sophie. Well, we talked a little bit about Bella Sophie. You can't knock her. She has six wins from nine starts. One second, one third. Trained by Rudy Rodriguez, who have not been going great guns up in Saratoga, right? He's been, you know, just not doing good up there. But I tell you what. He do have Bella Sophia, and that'll make you go the right way for sure. Comes out of the same race with obligatory. I believe it was the Better Roses Stakes. It was on the 10th of June. Ran behind obligatory. I actually beat obligatory that day by a half a length. And obligatory had 10 on the rest of the field. Okay, for sure. So, of course, Bella Sophia is a top, top contender. Here's a horse. It's a Billy Mock horse. Uh, travel column. Um, well, I mean, I'm not crazy about the number six horse travel column at all in this spot. Uh, the horse is 12 to 1 on the morning line. Tyler Gaffleon uh, is back in town from uh, Charlestown last night, obviously. We're going to throw the number six off the ticket for sure. But I, I mean, travel column is not a bad horse. Four wins from eight starts, one second and one third. And it's trained by my guy, Billy Mott. So, I mean, don't, go, don't fall all the way to sleep. And you got the smooth, smooth top of Gaffley on. At, at worst case, at 12 to 1, I would use them in my uh, tries and super practice for sure, just for value. And the last horse in this year, year is Ballerina. Good night, Oliver. Uh, Olivia. Oliver, right? So good. Four wins for five starts. No, you didn't. I just said it. This horse has won four of five in one second. Now, this Chad Brown, and guess who? This is the daughter of Ghost Zappa. So you know I like this horse, right? The number seven horse, uh, Oliver, uh, Good Night Oliver, is the daughter of Ghost uh, Zappa on the back end by Smart Strike. Trained by Trav Chad Brown. Have I Riot Ortiz in the yards. A horse as a four-year-old is two for two. Both of them are allowance race. Now the horse coming back in 21 days is stepping into the ballerina. Now, this is very, 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 very deep water, okay? Go Zapper, no Go Zapper. This horse does have ability, uh, this Stone Street bred uh, uh, Go Zapper baby. But, you know, again, this horse is in deep, deep water. And I guess this is the natural progression. Coming out of an allowance race, of course, never tested stakes company just yet. And this is the first time, and they're throwing her to the wolf. Now, it is Chad Brown. Good night, Oliver. Is, uh, Olivia is 5-1. Uh, to one. But, man, this is going to be tough sledding here for the number 7 horse. Now, maybe she's that good, okay? Maybe she's that good. I don't know, okay? But to me, uh, I would have to take a wait-and-see approach on the number 7. Go Zapper. No, go Zapper. No, he did not just said it. It hurts my heart. I'm not going to use the number uh, seven horse as a win probability in here. So there is this year's ballerina, and the most shocking thing to me in here is that the number four horse, Lady Rocket, is four to one, is six to one. So of course our top pick will be Lady Rocket uh, in this here spot for sure, and of course our second pick will be the classy, classy obligatory our guy Billy Mock for sure, the number two horse, and our third pick here. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, um, I guess you would have to uh, kind of use the number five horse, Bella Sophia. If you like obligatory, I think you almost have to always like uh, Bella Sophia. So for us, in this year's ballerina on Sunday, ninth race, these mares can flat out step. To me, 
uh, Lady Rocket, the untouchable Mary Halls, Brad Cox, at 6-1, to one, it's a huge, huge value play. And the horse is the speed. And we know that speed is king, and this is seven furlongs. So for us, it's four, two, five, in that order, in this year's ballerina. Let's see if the old Rafael Santana can get Lady Rocket gate to wire in this here fine, fine, $500,000 grade one stake race. Thanks, classy, y'all, and all that you do.